are here at the Mercedes dealership in Sarasota. GT, GTS, or no, GTC. Wow. That's how a lot of people been looking in. I don't know if you guys can see anything inside. These have a presence to them. And right next to it is a GT. It's a normal GT. This is one big showroom. Like, wow. One in Fort Wayne only holds like five cars. What are your guys' opinions on the roof right here? I don't know. A bit odd. And then the calipers are different, are different. But I love how they have it set up. They have it set up as the F1 uh, pit area, pit lane, see? The crew right there in the pit lane, decals. The texture is rough. Wow, that is cool. I like how they have that set up. Supporting their F1 team. Another Hellcat. Wow. So you can touch the screen and you can customize different cars and stuff up here. Well, the experience. Experience at AMG. Wow. That's cool. This is my first Mercedes dealership to be to that has a section dedicated to the AMG Sport line. I like it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look at the headlights on this. That is cool. Here, let's head around to the other side see if you can see it better. Yeah, there you are. Wow. Wow. This is on the S63A. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Got this one compared to the one in Fort Wayne. That is massive. 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. That's pretty cool. And one cool thing, the stripes of the car continue onto the soft top. Center locking wheels. That's a cool color. A lot of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber rear wing. Carbon fiber right here, exclusive series. Wow. Semi yeah. locking wheels. That's pretty cool. Here's a Jeep Gladiator. That is nice. I like the stance on this. Not too big of wheels. I like the wheels, so actually, I think it's probably a little bit too big, but I like them. I like I like this. I like this setup right here. That's really cool and the setup right over the lights right there. That is aggressive. That's awesome. So someone practically just got it to modify and then sell it. And boy oh boy, that's a stink right over here from that. That's pretty cool. G Wagon. Oh, whoa, the V12 version. What? No way. That's awesome. So this is a V12 version of it. Huh. Don't know how much I want for it. Probably an arm and a leg. Yeah, they're remodeling right now. So all their stuff are up here. BMW i8. This Hellcat, I like the color. Beautiful blue. They have another Hellcat right behind me. 
blue with black hood. Huh. Aisha's sitting right down there. Aston Martin Vantage, and right next to it is a 718 Cayman. With the wing up. Good, good. Oh, this one's a manual. Aston Martin. Huh. The all new 2020 facelifted Audi R8. That looks amazing. See the. There's some new features on the front. One big feature is this part right here. Comes out and goes up. Kind of like a Huracan Evo. The one that we saw last video. Or this video. I haven't decided if I'm going to put this with it or not. Whoa. And another big thing is the back. The, you know, just dual exhaust and round it off a little bit. Whoa. This is one of my dream cars. And so it's, it's, it's really awesome to see the new facelifted R8 because we don't have those up in Fort Wayne. Whoa. Hi, me. This is awesome. Wow. It does have a little bit more power in the engine. So the engine does have a little bit more horsepower and torque and stuff. It's still fast and sounds amazing. Whoa. TTRS. I've only sat in one and that was two years ago at the Detroit Auto Show. That was in my first video. Whoa. It's a cool, cool car. I love Audis. Audis are amazing. Personally, one of my favorite car companies. Whoa. Now and, is that it or is there any more? Said the TTRS. Whoa. Here's another Audi TT. Huh. I like the RS a bit better though. That's cool. Look at this showroom. This is cool. It's like a ramp, like you can, that's just so cool. All the plants and stuff. We don't have any of that here and back there in Fort Wayne. This is a big showroom. A lot of cars in it. The one in Fort Wayne, you can fit five but they're still cool people. An Audi R8. Whoa. Will you guys help me get to a thousand subscribers? That would be amazing if, uh, when I get there, and amazing if you guys helped out. That would mean a lot to me, and when I get to a thousand subscribers, I would go and try to do something really awesome for you guys as well. So that would be the end of today's vlog. If you guys liked it, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and smash that like button. But as always, adios, chaps.